Hello, Assalamu alaikum. This is me, Dr. Jangir, and you are watching me on my YouTube channel that is Basics of uh, MBBS and FCPS. Well, today we are going to discuss uh, a very important topic that is uh, in dengue, why there is increase in hematocrit. Now, this is a very important question and why there is increase in hemoglobin. So the hemoglobin and the hematocrit both increases in dengue and we will limit our discussion today only to this we will not go into the detail what happens in dengue there is in dengue what happens there is a a, a widespread inflammation so we are having a let's suppose a capillary system so you are having a, a, a inflammation in dengue there are certain cytokines that are released in blood these cytokines causes what causes uh, inflammation all over the body and what this inflammation causes it causes actually inflammation of the blood vessels the blood capillaries when the blood capillaries they are inflamed when the blood capillaries are inflamed what happens there is leakage there is leakage from the blood capillaries to third space there is leakage when there is leakage leakage of what water only whenever there is a leakage of water into the pleural space as well as peritoneal space what happens there is ascites <coughs> and there is pleural effusion so we are having ascites and pleural effusion both ascites and pleural effusion you may have seen the patient with dengue they are having both ascites and pleural effusion so what happens inside the blood inside the blood let's suppose if we are having blood inside this vessel so if you are losing water only blood is composed of two things plasma and formed element such as rbc wbc and platelet but we are mainly concerned with here the rbc is they form the major portion so what happens when you do a blood CP in this phase there is plasma leakage so there is whenever there is pl plasma leakage what happens there is hemoconcentration there is decrease there is decrease plasma there is decrease water when there is decrease water what happens there is hemoconcentration and this is actually this hemoconcentration Hemo concentration that is responsible for increase in hematocrit. Jis ki se hematocrit aur hemoglobin dono badte hain. Jis ki se hemoglobin aur hematocrit dono badte hain. Kyunki aapka jo blood mein jo pani tha, wo nikal gaya hai. Jab wo nikal gaya hai, to abhi agar aap 1 ml ya 100 ml blood loge, to usme aap kya loge? Less water loge, kyunki water to sara nikla hua hai. Or more HP loge. Or ye dengue shock syndrome hota hai. That is occurs in the critical phase. Jab a febrile phase khatam hota hai, to critical phase jab shuru jata hai, to usme jo hai aapka third space shifting hoti hai. Or third space shifting ki wajah se aapki ye hemo concentration ho jati hai. Aapka hemoglobin or hematocrit bad jata hai. So that's all the mechanism uh, regarding increase in hematocrit and hemoglobin concentration.